Uh, well, last weekend I just got back from Chicago. I go to Chicago quite a bit. Definitely Chicago, often. Chicago, Dallas. Cincinnati. San Francisco. San Francisco, Sacramento. I went to St. Louis and we, of course, went up the arch. One of the best tours I ever went on was in New Orleans. I love to go to Nashville, big country music fan. I'm a big foodie, so I love checking out uh, restaurants. Oh yeah, I've been to New York probably about 50, 60 times. You know, I guess I never thought about in terms of quantity, the actual numbers. I mean, I'm gonna say over a million. Five million. Oh. The 28 million, that's a lot of people. <laughs> I do this to everybody that I run into that's from out of town. I'll give them a laundry list of things, whether it's restaurants. Union 50. Mama Corolla. Tinker Street. Shapiro. Sobro. Broad Ripple area. The Mass Ave. See the Dancing Ann statue, which for some reason people just find hysterical. You'll see people in their 20s and you'll see people in their 90s at the same function. And that's the beer garden at the Rask Geller. It's fantastic. Riding bikes or running on the Monon. Duck pin bowling at Fountain Square Theater. The State Museum. Children's Museum and the zoo. Do the paddle boats on the canal. Do trivia or yoga in the catacombs. Just going over to the Chatterbox for some great jazz. I moved here in 2005, which means my first Indy 500 was in 2006 and I haven't missed one since. I love this city because it loves me back. I have a sense of, uh, of home, of place, and to me that's, that's very important with my identity as a person. It also listens to my input and the input from other people, what we need, what we're looking for. Yeah, I think people have a lot of misconceptions about what Indianapolis is and the opportunities that we have here. I think Indianapolis is just so creative and it just goes over the top in how it does things. And I, I just think, you know, that, that epitomizes the, the spirit of, uh, of this city. I'm totally proud to be from Indianapolis. So when people ask me where I'm from, I automatically go to Indianapolis. I say I'm from Indianapolis. I say I, I come from Indianapolis. I'm Buffalo by birth, but I'm Indy by choice. And I can't imagine living anywhere else.